Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Yeah, Axe, it's your boy Daddy Easy here. I bought Jabra Hacker, otherwise known as only use me Tomahawks, and some of you may know me as Easy, like I always say to the black, to the blue, I'm gonna have it on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So today I'm gonna be showing you the infamous second son, how to complete the paper trails. This is the walkthrough part one. As you can see, I just opened up the first part of my mission. So this is just some of the parts that you really don't have to pay attention to. It's just some of the stuff that you already completed if you started the paper trails um, part. So as you can see, um, I'm at the website right now, which is, I believe it was infamous, um, papertrails.com. So all the information that you're seeing right here on the screen is what you're going to need to actually unlock this stuff. Um, right now, you don't really have to pay attention to really nothing on the screen, but the stuff that you see what's inside the wallet is the most important part. And a lot of y'all is talking about that you need the code for the um, cell phone, which I'm going to show you right now. Now, basically, when you open up this wallet, you need to go to another website, and you also need to open up a tool on your regular computer or whatever you use to open up your iPad, your phone, whatever. And you basically want to need to take this card right here, which you see is right here on the screen. So basically with this card, you see he has an email address right there at the bottom. What you need to do is open up a URL or use your sticky note, notepad, iPad, whatever. And you want to copy down this website that you actually see on the screen right now. So you just want to just copy down this first part of his name um, in the dot com part. Once you fully copy down the whole link of his uh, email, actually his um. The uh, address, you're going to paste this into your URL. You could copy and paste it directly into URL, or you could just type it in, as I'm doing right now. Um, as you can see right now, one thing I'm doing is just open up my sticky note, just looking at it like that, and basically copying it inside, or just retyping it, as you can see I'm doing on the screen right now. So I'm moving it to the side, so I can basically type it down right now. So once you type in the um, URL address, you're going to basically just type in the um, first part, um, the whole address, and you want to hit enter. And it's going to bring you to this website. So now you're actually using your iPad or your cell phone, whatever um, browser that you're using. So you can actually do this if you're doing this from your uh, iPad or your computer. Basically, that's all you need to do. You're going to scroll down to the bottom. You want to hit the um, employment thing. Now, you do not have a user's name or a password. So you need to go to forgot password. As you can see, when I hit it, it brought me towards this now. Now, everything that you found inside his wallet is very important because it's going to tell you how to unlock that website to the page. So as you can see right there, that's his oldest daughter's name. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to just write this down in your sticky night, sticky note. And um, you're just going to write down what her name is. Uh, remember, this is the oldest daughter, and that's what the secret passcode was, so you can actually get into this website. So you're just going to take that, and you're going to go back into the regular website, which is right there. And you're going to type in what was the oldest daughter's name. Next was the, um, the craziest Halloween costume that you wore. So you can go back into your wallet again, which I didn't mean to shut that down, but for his habits. Um, as you can see, see right there. He does have a Halloween costume in this. Now, he's wearing a costume of a bear. Some of you might think it's a, a rabbit or something like that. Um, I just fooled around with it because it looked like a bear to me. So, I just typed in the word bear right there. Next one was his, um, what was his favorite uh, restaurant that he goes to, which was right there on the screen. His favorite restaurant. So, you're going to go back into the wallet, which is right there, which is, uh, what it was, Meaty Mothers. I believe that's the own restaurant um and make sure that you include the s on moth is at the end make sure you include the s at the end of it so uh once you got that right there the sticky note or your notepad whatever you got open is going to basically help you log into this account so what you want to do is now you're going to look at your sticky note your pad whatever you wrote on it and you're going to put the oldest daughter's name into the um into the thing right now so as you can see right there i'm just typing it in that's part one. Part two is right there. It's his costume. And the next one was his favorite restaurant. As you can see, I'm putting it in right there, including the S. And I'm going to submit it. And as you can see, I logged into the account right there, which everything is very, very, very easy. So once you get inside this thing right now, you're going to go into a bunch of things that he already took pictures of, which you already know who all these people are. It's telling you the case that he was doing everything from the get go. Um, it does have the code on there that you need for the cell phone codes, but some of the stuff you may want to read for further investigations parts when the other ones does come available. You do you you are going to need to go back into some of these files and reread some stuff. Now there is a file in there that she he does an interview with her. This is a drone that you're actually going to be following in the next step that I actually put up on the video for you. 
but um some recordings in here that you need to listen to as this right here i'm not gonna play for y'all but um you, you can basically view it yourself once you get it onto the website and there's the code right there basically at the bottom of the screen as you can see right there and that's basically gonna allow you to track to go to the next location to the paper trials on your playstation 4 of playing infamous second son so again pick up your sticky note uh your notepad anything that you're using to basically write this stuff down um like i said you want to need your computer ipad laptop whatever that you're using to type stuff down that's what you're going to basically need at the time to do all this so as you can see right here um i'm going to the cell phone on the website using my sticky note so i can actually type down the code that i actually got so what i'm gonna basically do is right now put the numbers in and it's going to tell me once i enter it it's going to tell me that i need to go back to the playstation 4 and do the rest of the stuff so as you can see i'm typing the numbers down there you go right there hit submit enter does the signal then it's going to tell me that i need to go back to the ps4 to finish the rest so i'm going to hit the ps4 and switch over to the gameplay right now so we can go to the next scene so there we go right there we're at the next scene as you can see right now so next part of this game is basically you running to your next location to your uh your paper trail stuff everything that you need to do to start your location so i go here enter it connect to paper trails it's telling me that i have to go to the uh search for the killer and stuff like that so now that i did the on um, phone tracker there we go now we're running with um the full game and able to track this person down so basically you're gonna be running through the city and basically like that so what you can do is you can follow where i'm going at on this uh on the screen right now you can pause this video or you can play it at the same time that you're watching this video to know exactly where you have to go at um you can follow the video as you can see i'm just cutting through some of the buildings right here uh just going through some of the places i kind of get stuck right there but um yeah uh, i run myself all the way over here and i'm going to stop right here i'm going to check it again as you can see i'm getting closer so we're going to run so when you get to this part of the section where you actually find where everybody is at you're going to get into a, a nice little boss battle now the best thing to do with this part right here is to get your meter all the way up that you can do a special and you can basically just take them out very quick without actually going through a full fight because there's a lot of opponents that you have to basically take down and it's a lot in that section at the time so i'm right next to the location as soon as i jump down here i gotta start fighting these guys right here and then also up the top so i'm gonna cut the scene around uh finish the little you know battle right there and we're gonna start doing another crime scene thing then i'm gonna start taking pictures so you're gonna take a picture for this guy hanging upside down again you upload it's basically uploading to the paper trail website and you're uploading more things again um next thing um you may have a problem you're looking on the ground coming to find out it's this uh bucket right here uh this cooler right there that you actually got to take a picture of i wasn't sure exactly what i was taking a picture was so i was basically looking to see if the meter was going up or down right there i kind of find out it was the cell phone in the um the cooler right there so once you take the picture of that cooler and you got all three uh snapshots you gotta face to uh follow this parrot drone now remember at the beginning of the video that i told you that this drone is very important that you looked at the pictures and that you need to look at the pictures for clues once you follow this uh drone you're gonna go inside a tunnel and you're gonna go inside another um fighting section again that's gonna actually start fighting people again so after you take them out uh use the specials but like i said collect your specials and stuff like that you're gonna go and collect the information from the parrot drone right there once you collect that information from the parrot drone this is where it kind of gets tricky at right now so once you got the information you got to go back to your own paper trails uh, website again but you gotta upload it to the website so you need to basically just run out of the building and follow the location where they telling you where you need to upload the stuff at so you can complete uh that part of the section of the game so it's a lot of stuff that you need to do um it's in different sections and things like that so we connect into the website again and it's uploading to the website that you need to go to infamous that's part one so you're gonna go back to the website again and now you see right there 
Now you got to do some more stuff. Now you're just going to get the pitches, everything that you was doing before, like you previously did. Go back out of the page, back to the profile, and you're basically out of that. Next thing that you got to do is scroll back down, and you're going to look at the message that you get. Really, is nothing that's interested, but it might something may come out for part two of this. Now, you're almost done with the paper trail parts right here until they unleash or unlock the further part of the game, which is not available right now. But um, as you can see right here, you're collecting some of this information right here. Now, this is the part right here is very important. I do have a code for it, which I'm going to put on the screen, but it's not uh, a code that I believe they're going to give you in game. It's a code that you got to kind of figure it out yourself. So you do need a sticky note or something that you can just write down and you're going to have to play with the parajone to unlock it. That's how I figured it out. As you can see, I put the, um, <clears throat> the code that I used down in the notepad right there. So yeah, I can copy and see if that works for you. But um, myself, um, when I messed up a couple of times, it actually changed the code around and I basically had to figure out that code. So you're going to have to figure out the code this by, by yourself. It's very easy. It'll take you no more than probably a minute to two minutes to try to figure out a code. It's like playing Max Payne um, if you ever played the new one. So Max Payne 3. So we back to that. We unlock the thing. It basically gives you a note and some money telling you what's going on. So the next thing you're doing is the other part of the paper trial. So once you unlock the paper trail, it's telling you to go to the um, the gig, the Gator uh, Theater, I believe that's what it was. So you're going to basically run yourself across town. It's going to show up on your mini map, showing you where you have to go at. As you can see on the bottom right screen of my screen, uh, it tells you where it's at in the white box with a star in it. So basically what you're going to do is just run around across town to get to this theater, which is right here. And you're going to come across another fight. Uh, it's a mini boss fight. Nobody particularly it's just a bunch of random uh characters that you already fought in the thing like i said it's best for you to keep your power thing up this time i learned and as you can see i got a special meter at the bottom i'm going to actually use it but i might not show it actually i am going to show it on the screen to stop me from taking a two to three minute boss fight so i can collect this stuff i just basically stacked it up and just used my special powers just so i can get through this part of the section very quick so i can be able to do this video for y'all so um as i do all this now the only thing you have to do is basically run inside of the theater as you can see right there i just ran back to make sure that turret was not going to shoot me as i was running inside i'm trying to figure out how do i get inside and actually the only thing you have to do is just run towards the building like that and it actually lets you inside of the um building with no problem so you're thinking maybe right now you have to have a boss fight or something's going to happen no it's nothing really going to happen what you're going to do is find another dead person that's basically stacked up you want to take more clues so as you can see, this person is right here. It's basically tied up again. So you're going to take more um, photos for the evidence. And you're going to basically do this. Now, this is part of the game that it's not available right now. And uh, I don't, I really don't have no ETA time of when they're going to release the second part of this. But I believe they're working on it as we speak. So it should be something available by this Tuesday uh, by April 1st or sometime in April that this part of the game for paper trail should be available so uh this next part of the section is very simple you want to just pick up the um paragami uh paper thing that you fall out fine on the ground and you're basically gonna just exit back out that's telling you to do it right now and that's basically it you're gonna walk out leave out this building and you're gonna make your way back to the paper trail uh lid so you can actually upload it to the website by just going towards it whatever you need to do so as you can see once you enter, exit the building it's connecting to paper trails right now and it's uploading everything that you need to do right here and basically this is the end of it but just to show you exactly what did you get once you upload it to the website i'm going to pause it now and go to the back to the website right now so as you can see right now i'm back in the website and that's all i have to do right there Nothing more, nothing less. And that's basically all that you're going to have to do left on this thing. So just showing your crime scene. So once part two is available, I will have another walkthrough for you. So it's your boy Daddy Easy here. I part Jarbreak Hacker. Only use me Tom Hawks. Remember, live it, love it, game it. Peace and deuces.